Hello everyone, welcome to Explore Hall. For this example, we're told to determine the intervals of increase and decrease for the function below. And we're given the function f of x equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3x plus 10. In order to find the intervals where the function is increasing or decreasing, we need to first find the critical points. And the critical points are where the derivative of this polynomial function is equal to zero. So let's first find the derivative of f of x by applying the differentiation rules we've learned. So the derivative of f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 10x plus 3. And factoring this polynomial, we get that the derivative is equal to 3x plus 1 times x plus 3. Now, we set the derivative equal to 0. which means that 3x plus 1 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. And x is equal to negative 1 over 3 or negative 3. So this means that f of x has critical points. at x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 1 over 3. Now, from the critical points of this function, we can set up a table in order to determine the intervals where the derivative of f of x is positive or negative, because that will indicate whether f of x is increasing or decreasing. So let's construct a table. Here is what the table looks like. From the critical points, we will check whether the derivative of f of x is positive or negative in the intervals from negative infinity to negative 3, negative 3 to negative 1 over 3, and from negative 1 over 3 to infinity. And to determine the sign, of the derivative of f of x, we will determine the sign of all the factors of the derivative of f of x. So if x is in the interval from negative infinity to negative 3, then subbing any value of x in this interval, for example, negative 4, means that 3x plus 1 will be negative, x plus 3 will be negative, which means that the derivative of f of x is positive. Now we do the exact same thing for the other intervals. So if x is in the interval from negative 3 to negative 1 over 3, 3x plus 1 is negative, x plus 3 is positive, which means that the derivative of f of x is negative. And if x is in the interval from negative 1 over 3 to infinity, 3x plus 1 is positive, x plus 3 is positive, which means that the derivative of f of x is positive. And we can also represent this information on a number line. So if we construct a number line, we can label all of the critical points. And from the table above, the derivative of f of x is positive in the interval from negative infinity to negative 3. So the derivative of f of x is positive in this interval. And looking at the other intervals, the derivative of f of x is negative in this interval, 
and positive in the last interval. So this means that f of x is increasing in the first interval. f of x is decreasing in the second. And f of x is increasing in the third interval. So therefore, f of x is increasing when x is in the interval from negative infinity to negative 3 and from negative 1 over 3 to infinity. And f of x is decreasing when x is in the interval from negative 3 to negative 1 over 3. And that's it for this example. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next lesson.